hello there welcome to this video and thank you for viewing my channel this is going to be a general current energy character profile reading for anyone who might be dealing with a taurus now if you are a taurus this isn't necessarily for you but you're more than welcome to stay and watch i just wanted to put it out there that this video isn't aimed at tauruses it's aimed at people who are dealing with a taurus okay people who are connecting with a taurus so um if you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below. Um, also, if you'd like to donate to my channel or uh, contact me about a personal reading, uh, they are starting at $20 right now. So my contact information um, and PayPal information is down below um, in the description box as well. So... Um, the way that we do, so <laughs> the character profile readings, um, they're still new to me. I'm just, this is something I'm just now starting here. So I do have like a layout here. So if you see me looking at it, that's why, uh, because it's a 12 card, it's a 12 card thing. So, um, I am getting, I am still getting used to it and I've almost gone through all 12 signs, but anyways, so the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to pull a card for your Taurus. Um, I'm going to try to do it without looking at it. I'm going to challenge myself. Okay. So, um, I'm going to pull a card for your Taurus, a card for their dominant outward trait, so that's how others view them, a card for their dominant inward trait, so how, how they feel on the inside. It's not in regards to you, it's just in regards to, you know, um, life in general, I feel. And then how they view love in a general sense as well. So uh, then we're going to go, and uh, on one side, we're going to do, um, you know, how they appear to be handling the connection. So this could be how it's coming off to you, how they want it to come off to you, how it's coming off to others, how they want it to come off to others. Then on the other side, we're going to challenge that. We're going to see if uh, these kind of match up. So we're going to look at their inner feelings and uh, thoughts regarding the connection. Um, and then we're going to look at what their intentions are or were in the connection, what their goal or reward was in the connection or is. Um, and then we're going to look at what obstacles they see present. So what obstacles are present? Why can't they come towards you? Why can't they commit to you? What What's in the way there? So what's at risk for them as well? So we're going to go over what's at risk for them in doing that. Then we're going to split the deck and see what actions they're going to take and how that's going to play out for them. So it's a fun little reading. I really like it so far. I just haven't mem memorized the layout yet. So, But I did, I, I did very well just now and I did it. I did it in one of the other videos as well. I memorized it, but gosh, these cards are flipped around here. Once again, some of these cards are like facing one another for whatever reason. Um, anyways, so let's take a look at this Taurus. Pulling a card for this Taurus. Pulling a card for this Taurus. The Taurus that this viewer is dealing with. Page of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. So this is Fire Energy, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo with the Page of Wands. And with the Ace of Pentacles, that's Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So that's coming up as your Taurus. So their dominant outward trait. What's their dominant outward trait? The Strength card, Leo, Leo Energy. Uh, dominant inward trait of this Taurus. How do others view this Taurus? Or excuse me, dominant inward trait for this Taurus. What's going on? On the inside for this Taurus. <sighs> Three of Swords in reverse. Uh, this is Libra energy. Okay, now how they view love in a general sense. How does this Taurus view love in a general sense? Queen of Cups reversed, Cancerian energy. So that's how they view love in a general sense. Let's see here. <clears throat> How does this Taurus appear to be handling the connection? How does this Taurus appear to be handling the connection? Two of Swords, Libra Energy. That's how they appear to be handling the connection. Um, their inner feelings regarding this connection. Their inner feelings regarding this connection. Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. Mm -hmm. this, this is starting to make sense a little bit. Okay. Um, their intentions. What are the intentions of this Taurus? What are their intentions? The Temperance card, Sagittarian Energy. Uh, what obstacles do they see present in coming towards this viewer and committing to this viewer, whatever the case may be? What obstacles are they seeing present? Ace of Swords, Reverse, um, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, what's their goal or reward here? What's their goal or reward here? What's their goal or reward? Two, two cards wanted to come out. King of Cups and the Knight of Swords in Reverse. So Gemini Energy with the Knight of Swords in Reverse and Scorpionic Energy with the King of Cups. Um, that's our goal or reward here. So risks. Risks. What's at risk here for this Taurus? What's at risk here for this Taurus? 
What's at risk here for this Taurus? Five of Wands, Leo energy. So we're going to shuffle this deck up and split it to see what actions they're going to take. What actions they're going to take and how that's going to play out for them. What actions this Taurus will take and how that's going to play out for them. Six of Swords in reverse, uh, Aquarian energy as the, action, as the actions that they're going to take. And the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, okay? So I'm being really drawn here. I'll see if it ties in when I when I start reading. I'm being really drawn here to this. I'm always drawn to the card on the top of my bigger Rider Waite deck. Um, High Priestess. She can be a card of secrets. I feel like this person's holding back. Holding back something, okay? Whether it's information, um, a secret, whether it's, you know, just emotion. They're holding back something here. Or they can feel something. They, they might know something here as well about you, but I'm not sure. But this Taurus, okay, this Taurus is coming up as the Page of Wands. Oh, mm, give me just a second here. This Taurus is coming up as the Page of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like they want to communicate with you. They want to make you an offer is what I feel like saying here. Um, but I feel like I feel like this is a Taurus that you have a past with. Okay, and that's what I feel intuitively. That this is a Taurus that you have a past with because I feel like they're mending from something here. This is their inner uh, their their inner dominant trait. They're mending from something. Strength, how others view them. So this could be, you know, the way that you view them as well. This is their dominant outward trait. They come off as somebody who's really strong, somebody who can kind of handle everything that's thrown at them is what I feel like saying here. And I feel like, you know, dominant inward trait, three of swords, they can. They mend very quickly. They bounce back fast. Okay, queen of cups in reverse is how they see love. So I feel like they're kind of closed off to love is what I feel like saying here. They're kind of closed off to love is what I feel like saying okay with the queen of cups but we've got queen of cups and king of cups so i feel like they want to turn that around is what i feel like saying because king of cups is coming this is how they view love okay and this is their goal or their reward so i feel like they want to turn that around in a sense but yeah those are partner cards of the major arcana so i mean queen of cups and king of cups but yeah that's their goal here they want to they want to turn this energy around is what i feel like saying but um let me see here give me a second um where was I? So the Two of Swords is coming off as uh, how they appear to be handling this connection. So they appear, I feel, I feel like they're not really fooling you, okay? They could be fooling others and seeming like, I'm okay, I'm fine. But they're coming off to you as somebody who doesn't know what they want here, okay? They're coming off to you as somebody who is holding back. This is Moon and Libra, by the way. This is somebody who's holding back about, uh, you know, a decision that they need to make is what I feel like saying here. So I feel like, you know, Moon, Emotion secrets uh high priestess is ruled by the moon right so i definitely feel like you know they're holding back some emotion here so that's how they appear to be handling the connection is they're holding back emotion and they need to make a decision <clears throat> but they're kind of they're kind of blinding themselves blinding themselves to that decision that needs to be made this taurus it, that's what they're doing um so their inner feelings in regards to the connection is the seven of wands they feel like there are obstacles here they don't want to fight with you is what i'm getting they don't want to fight with you okay they feel like this is this is their inner feelings here okay they, they feel like there are obstacles and the obstacles are i either one of two things to them okay it's either that you're not going to communicate with them you're not going to communicate properly is what i'm getting you're not going to communicate properly you're not going to communicate in the way that they want you to okay you're not going to communicate in the way that they want you to is what i feel like saying here that's an obstacle that they're seeing here but temperance they're willing to be patient i feel like this tours could have wronged you they're willing to be patient they're willing to let you mend because they've mended from the situation as well they've forgiven themselves is what i feel like saying here that's weird they've forgiven themselves so they're willing to be patient in reconciling they're willing to um what am I getting here? They're willing to let you heal, to let you forgive is what I feel like saying here because their goal here is the Knight of Swords in reverse. They don't want the drama, okay? The King of Cups, they want to they want to have emotional balance with you. They want to nurture this emotionally. They want to nurture your emotions. They want to be patient. They want equal give and take. They want flow within this connection this Taurus does. That the Knight of Swords to me upright can be like a rageful kind of bitter, uh, it's Gemini energy. <laughs> Sorry, Gemini's, but, you know, it's kind of just like flying off the handle, uh, saying whatever you say. It's, 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 I get rage off of this card a lot. Somebody who doesn't really think uh, before they speak. So that's the energy. That, that's our goal here is, you know, getting rid of that energy is what I feel like saying here. And stepping into this King of Cups energy, okay? Opening up, not not being closed off anymore is what I feel like saying. But they're still not doing it, okay? They're still not doing it with this Two of Swords. They're not doing it yet. I feel like they're waiting on you to heal. They're waiting on, you know, to find peace within this connection, okay? So um, that's what I feel like saying here. Um, 
But the Seven of Wands coming up, they do feel like there are obstacles. They feel like they're going to be hit with obstacles, okay? That's their feelings here. They feel like there are obstacles, and they feel blocked energetically as well. They feel blocked energetically. You could have already moved on from this Taurus at this point, okay? Or you could be with someone else. Uh, you could just still be angry with them and they still feel that so ace of swords in reverse they feel like you're not going to communicate okay or they feel like you're not going to communicate properly you're not going to give them the communication that they would like okay because another what's at risk here is this five of wands they don't want to fight with you okay they don't want to fight <clears throat> They don't want the conflict. They just want the King of Cups, okay? But you know the conflict has to be faced. You guys can't just step around it, you know? You can't just step around it and act like nothing happened like this Taurus is kind of expecting. They expect you to heal from it, but silently is what I'm getting here. It's what I'm feeling intuitively. Six of Swords in Reverse are the actions that they're going to take. So they're going to, um, you know, they, I feel like they tried to move on from this, but they couldn't with the Six of Swords being in Reverse. So I feel like, you know, they're going to turn back around to this is what I feel like saying. They're going to turn back around to this connection. And I feel like, you know, how that's going to play out for them is they're going to have to work for it a little bit. You're not just going to get over this. You're not just going to get over this with no with no conversation about it, right? You want to you want to have this King of Swords energy, and then you can get to this. You're not going to just not have this. You're not just going to not be mad. You know, you, you can't just they can't just expect that from you. I'm really annoyed that they do. But anyways, that's what I'm getting here for anybody who might be dealing with the Taurus. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it resonated. I know it was awful awfully specific. Um, you could always watch out, you know, for your own sign and see if your person shows up there. See if your Taurus might show up there. Um, but yeah, that's. That's what I'm getting here. I hope it resonated. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, tap the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications for when I upload new content. And thank you so much for watching.